And welcome back, this is Wallace Cooper with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty party of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. When we last left off, we found chocobos, and they are very cute in this game, I must admit, and I love the little song. The song for the chocobos is always awesome, and I have to immediately dismount, because what the hell? Zoom in on that. It's like the end of the world here. But it's a very cute chocobo. Alright, so now that we're standing out in the middle of nowhere, at the end of the world, let's just get off and go into town. And what town is this? This is the village of the ancients that they told us to go to so many times. What's up, Moogle? Can I send mail? Send mail? N no. No. It's only one per hour. Too bad. Yeah. Hasn't been in. Hasn't been an hour yet. But, there is an inn here, which I do need to use. We are the sons and daughters of the ancients of once great civilization, but now we live by the land as our rule commands. Long ago, our rule charged us with guarding the Tower of Owen. The Tower of Owen? Whatever could that be? We need to go to the inn, though. Um, yeah, hold on while I just rest up a bit. I was kind of hoping for like a bar or something in the inn, but no, there's nothing there. Not even a piano for able to practice on. Um, okay, I see a kid with bright, bright orange hair in there. We'll, we'll get back to him in a bit. First, we need to explore all the other parts of town. What is up, dude, over here? Let doctors have their own will, a will that transcends that of mere mortals such as you and I. There, and they are perpetually at war. The crystals exist to bring balance between these two forces. When the balance tilts too far one way, the crystals choose four mortals and bless them with their power. Now the balance has tilted toward darkness. Four warriors of the light will be chosen and tasked with bringing equilibrium to the world once more. That's us! Yay! We're special! Do you have any new, uh, new uh, weapons? Serpent sword. Right, right. Damn, that's expensive though. I don't know if. It and I bet they give me one, like next town over too. Uh, so I'm, I'm probably gonna save my money for now. As you saw, I only have about seven thousand, and that thing costs thirty-five hundred all by itself. Can't go any farther that way. I am not liking the design of this town at all right now. Let's head back to the middle here. What's up, dude? The ground we're standing on. It's a loft? It's true! The Tower of Owen is a pillar. A pillar that supports our continent built by the ancients to bring balance between light and darkness. What? I don't understand your logic. Whatever, we're moving on to a place that will resurrect me, but I don't need to be resurrected. Everybody is alive and well. My researchers once built, once built a great civilization, but were punished for their arrogance. That is the catastrophe we now call the Wrath of the Light. They attempted to harness the power of the light. They arrogantly assumed there was nothing they could not do, but they had thought wrong. It is said that four warriors emerged from the world of darkness and stopped the destructive forces of light that our ancestors had conjured. But now, it is darkness that has emerged, bringing chaos and destruction in its wake. All that we can do is wait for the four warriors to appear once again. Hi! We've appeared. Whatever. Sight. Displays a detailed map. No thanks. Faro. Bazara, Thandara, Kira, Teleport, and Blind Now. I'm gonna get Teleport, just in case. Blind uh, I'm gonna hold off on. Because I don't think darkness, blindness is that big of a problem. Whatever. Our rule commands us, yes. To be guided by the great will, yes. You guys use very vague words to describe what's going on in your town. What's up? How you doing? Have you ever seen a chocobo? It's a strange bird it is. They make their home in the woods to the east. Right. I caught two. Didn't use any for a good purpose, but I still used two. Uh, shell armor, which I got. Flame mail, which is better, but it's fucking expensive. I do need one of these. 
Uh, that's not too expensive. Kenpogi and uh Damn that's a big upgrade. Okay. Two mage robes, please. Let me go ahead and equip those. Okay, all equipped. All set and ready to go. Let's go back to the center once again, to the front of town. Still still probably hasn't been an hour, so I'm not even gonna check. Uh, I think the kid... Yeah, here he is. What is up, kid? I'll give you a prize if you run around the edge of the continent on a chocobo. Seriously? Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see that the... That the whole continent has a big ring to it, so I'm gonna do that off screen because really, do you really need me to watch it watch me run in a big circle on purpose? No, I didn't think so. Done. Let's do this. That's pretty much like a minute and a half I can never get back. <laughs> Was it worth it though? Is he gonna give me something awesome? What what's up, kid? Incredible! You actually did it. Here, here's your prize. Gnomish bread. Gnomish bread? Screw you, kid. Like, mmm. Hate. I'm gonna, yeah, hold on. Alright, now that that little cussing fit is over, let's check out this little flower that gives us a serpent sword for whatever reason, and now we are done in the City of the Ancients. We're done. Never to return. I hate that kid. You can do that as many times as you want, too. He, he'll just keep giving you gnomish bread. If you are up to riding chocobos around in giant circles, feel free to farm gnomish bread from that kid. I do not feel up to that. So I'm going to take this chocobo, avoid whatever the hell that is, and go back into the ship. Yeah. I'm pretty much back to the ship. Okay. Get, get on the ship. Thank you. Let's head further west. And further north, then, apparently, because that's the only way we can go. So, yeah, we wouldn't be able to get here through Chocobos, but we have reached... What is this? Castle Argus! Nice! I hear this place is very... Important. I don't see any cracked walls. It, that's like my first thought every time I go to a new place, is I bet there's secret treasure all over the fucking place here. Oh, there's a crack. I see the crack. Let me go through it. Apparently that's not a crack. I'm just deceiving... You guys see it too, right? It's like right there. Whatever. Just go up to the third floor then. Um, no, it's still bothering me. What the hell was that? There's got to be some kind of trick here, isn't there? Alright. Maybe it has something to do with these candles? Oh, apparently that one releases the switch. Seriously, this game is just designed around you running around mashing X. Alright, so we run off the edge of the world. And then we make it over here. Where we find six treasure chests. 1,500 gil. Alright, 2,500. 3,500, just giving you a total here. 3,600. Uh, 4,600. 4,700 gil. Nice. And we made it to the top. Is there anything up here worth worth looking at? Oh, there's a tower! The door is locked. Am I supposed to have a key? I don't think I have a key. I have no key. So forget you. I didn't want what was in there anyway. Is this one locked? I don't have anything for that. Fine. We'll just continue going around this huge square. And back into the door that I came from. I don't even care. Uh, 
I think if you have a thief in your party, you can break that open, but... I'm not a bit of big fan of thieves. I'm more of a monk guy. As you can tell from Final Fantasy 1 and what I've done so far here. Seems like they were in the middle of something and then stopped for whatever reason. I don't think there's anything here. I don't see any cracks or anything like that, so let's... Apparently I found a secret entrance here. Jeez, man. Okay, we get a bomb fragment and an Antarctic wind. <sighs> okay. Let's head back out to the front here. And now we're on a slightly lower level. Nothing happens. That probably resurrects your party members if they fall in. And this is probably HP MP Restore. Nice. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me just double check. I'm paranoid about missing stuff in this game because there's so much. Uh, I guess we'll go down here and check for a second. Is there... There's not even a crack there! Game, what the hell? We get a regular Arctic wind. This one's not Antarctic, it's just regular Arctic. Whatever. So I guess that's it for this castle for now, because I don't have a thief and I don't have a key. Maybe maybe if I like help them out with something, they'll give me a key eventually, but I definitely don't have one right now. So back out to the main world map, I guess, and Huh. I think Oh. Well, first we have a battle against lizard men again. Actually, we need to head back into the ship for our last destination, I believe. Right here. In this little forest here. It's you find the living woods with fairies. Keepers of the woods. Awesome. Oh, okay. Wizard Hine. We have a evil person, apparently. Oh, I saw that thing. I knew I should have avoided it. Apparently it's a boss fight. He changes his weak point when he uses barrier shift. Okay. Right. You'll need to be able to analyze him in order to defeat him. I don't know. Can I analyze? Would wither and die. The trees are weeping. They weep for the missing elder tree. A tree that has lived for 10,000 years. The wizard came and put a curse on the elder and took him away. No, we must help the fairies. But we're going to have to do that next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been my trusty party of Abel, Melvin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.